It's that time again. It is time for Faust Friday, and we are looking at our boy, Tim Vigil. Probably my favorite comic book artist of all time. Eventually, I'm going to do a comic book artist list of my favorite comic book artists, and it will not be surprising to you that he is number one. This is what we came for, obviously. Don't know why that was covered up. I don't think that there's anything uh, crazy going on there. But uh, it is adult reading, so it's for adults. What a great page to start out with. See a little Kaze Shinobu there, huh? Interesting with the eyes. Huh. Tim Vigil does not disappoint. I would have loved to have known what it was like to kind of like get these as they were coming out. I would have been like, man, there's nothing better on the racks than this. I love how he draws that arm up there. He just knows how to draw such a dire situation. His And I love the way he draws faces. There's just everything is there. You can see the cube. You can see the cube of the head. And it looks so good. I have no idea what's going on on that page. We got another Kaze Shinobu thing going on there with the eyes. I imagine, I don't know what year this came out. 89, it says here, perhaps. I don't know what year this came out. This is Tim Vigil 88, so I'm going to guess 89-ish. Well before the image stuff, so he was doing, the, the, the image guys had to have been looking at his stuff. There's no way they weren't. That guy was fucking crazy. Look at that drawing there. That's the thing is like Tim Vigil when he draws the figure is absolutely the most important point. There's not a lot of perspective going on. It's all about the figure. And man, does he draw a great figure. I love the way he draws women too. Just like such a great artist. I mean, that's something that you would see like a fine artist draw, really. Okay, so we get to the sex in the comic. And the gore. She can't have sex w without the gore. Man. Drawing boats and stuff. But I love how it's like... Okay, we got a one-point perspective here. And then ah, I guess I'll throw in a two-point perspective. I, I just love the way he draws anatomy. It's so good. So good. And how it's like off. Like it's just. Oh this is by Joe Vigil. Interesting. Uh huh. Okay that makes sense now. Like it did look a little bit different than uh, Tim Vigil. Okay now I feel like a moron. Anyways. Joe Vigil making a. Uh, an appearance here. I was going to say it looks way different. Joe Vigil. Is a great artist too. And, um, yeah. 
very different. And I like how different they are from one another, but yet there are similarities too. But I definitely feel like Joe Vigil is probably more outlaw than Tim Vigil is, if that makes any sense. But I don't know. Yeah. Man. I love this comic book series, and I absolutely, I love shit like this. Like this, you have to spend so much time on a page. And I feel like I would fuck up somewhere, and I'd be like, oh, shit, I just wasted an entire page. But uh, Tim Vigil, man, I don't know. I think they're both equally outlaw. I don't think Joe Vigil is more outlaw than Tim. I think they're both super outlaw in their own way. But, uh, yeah, man, I just, I just, I love anybody who can draw a solid, solid form. And, you know, just great anatomy. And also can do it so in, in such a dynamic way. Very cool. And I love people who add so much background detail. I mean, any artist would be like, eh, I'll just put up a poster and we're good. Tim Vigil's like, eh, we're going to do a bunch of other stuff. I also love that drawing of the, uh, the bridge. You know, I have to go through it again to kind of make sure I didn't miss anything huge. But, uh, yeah, just, wow. What a great issue. What a great looking issue. I'm not here for the story. I'm here for the art. And uh, I don't think it gets better than this. So, yeah. That is Tim Vigil on Faust Friday act two next week we're going to do act three and then the week after that surprise we're going to do act four but anyways thank you guys for watching and uh see you next time